John McCagg with JesusChristTrust.net. Countdown. It never stops, right? It's inexorable. Okay, so we're going to go into common law today. Common law. And, you know, oops, that's not the right one. Move you out of the way. Common law. You just type in common law on Google and up pops nothing. Unwritten laws. Something that's not written down. Okay. Uh, established on re legal precedents. Okay. But it's not written. No? Okay. Alright. So, no one can understand what that means. No, that's not what common law means. But, this right here. Th this, uh. Weights and measures item here this scale right that needs to equal to be balanced that's correct okay so what is the only law right what is the only law that's common to us all do you do you know what that is well actually the only law that's really common to us all is it's called free will right that's the law. We have the ability to choose one or the other, right? We could choose the In God We Trust slash USA, we being the name of the devil. One of the names of the devil, right? Every name is the name of the devil except Jesus Christ. Yeshua is not his name. Don't, don't say that to me, okay? You have no proof that the name Yeshua does anything. You don't have any proof, and I have proof that the word... It's Jesus Christ that I have all my proof based on that free home, etc., etc. Don't tell me that name has power. Don't tell me that because you're wrong, first of all. And second of all, it's a claim that you're making to me. And you don't have proof. So <coughs> God does not appreciate hypocrites, okay? Don't say one thing and do another. Don't don't pray to, oh, Jesus is your Savior. Yeah, and you say, yes, what, what, what's wrong with you? Why are you of two minds? And why are you trying to make other people of two minds? You haven't tested the name Jesus Christ. You haven't met with them. That's what that tells me. That's all that that tells me. So the only real law common to every single individual in a human body is that you can sell your soul to the devil. Or you can sell it, right? You could also give it to Jesus Christ, right? Did you know that your your soul is already with the devil? You see what I'm saying? It's already in bondage in here. Just, you know, your proof of your your reincarnation, your, your existence in a body proves it, all right? But so does the paperwork, right? You're, you're in a domed prison. Uh, you're cast down. You know, and you need out. Well, God doesn't trust the fallen angels now, does he? And I, I can see why. So you have to prove yourself. You say, no, I'm worthy to come home. I, I made a mistake. Let me show you. Okay? So, or you could stay under the dome forever, you know, with them. And that that's what they're of a mind to do. So, those that's the, that's the one choice that is common to everyone. You can either go with the devil or you could go with Jesus Christ. They're the only two options, you know, sadly, there really aren't any other real options. You can get help from another incarnation of God, of Krishna, and so on, and Baba, and so on. Definitely. Absolutely. But still, you're going to have to reincarnate until you get to this place that I'm talking about right here. If you follow Mayor Baba, he said that the place where spiritual, the, the, the spiritual place for the coming age was America. That's what he said. He didn't say India. He didn't say Europe. He didn't say, he said America. And so he, in, in all his unfathomable wisdom, made me the current living Christ. And so I know everything. Meaning, I get the contract to hand out. So, you, you know. Okay, guess what? Your soul's with the devil. You want you want to be with Jesus Christ? I have that. Other people that stole it from me and are, are putting it out there, they're ruining people's lives. They do not have the spiritual authority to do that. 
they don't and they always get it wrong so i have proof and they don't and anybody gets caught up in their snares should be because you haven't learned enough to ask for proof okay but that's the only law the the law is free will that's the law you see and what's that back by that's backed by the you know uh the law of karma right so so you fall under the laws of the devil meaning do whatever the devil says or else <laughs> that's it that's that's the ink we trust us usa Inc. and we're always changing the laws and we're never following them hey you're just our slave that is you're a slave of a constantly moving target of the devil that never makes sense ever and that's you know your your current choice chosen for you by god by your parents you know because they weren't awake and so really everyone else is doing it you know that's why I, you know parents are like yeah but if somebody is jumping off a bridge would you do it uh be better than signing a birth certificate maybe right you know getting that whole thing and get you a slave of the devil maybe maybe did you consider that mom and dad before you talk to me about bridges no actually you didn't no you you follow me so you're already signed up with the devil and so there is someone that got made a saved by god has the contract for you to get out of the contract with the devil Right? And I've been doing that at libertyaidacademy.org for a good long time. Uh, oh, whoa, this pop up. You can get 30% off there. Wow, that's sweet. If you use Zelle or Cash App, fantastic. Uh, but anyway, this has been going on for a decade with proof, Liberty Aid, right? One decade. So you can get in there, get a trust. And the hack is. That, you know, in the Bible, you have to give up everything or, or you can't be with God, period. And so this allows you to put everything in a trust with Jesus Christ. You give up everything to God and you're just trusty. You're steward of what God gave you, your soul, your, your uh, you know, f the finances, any physical assets, anything like that. But they're not yours. You see, they're God's. They're Jesus Christ. That's that's the hack. And so, you know, we're given this person, this uh, corporate fiction called a person, right? A straw man. But they, at the bank, they call it, oh, you want a personal account? So it's a person. You see, we're given a person and we said, you're a person. <laughs> it's like, no, <coughs> I'm I'm a human, right? I'm a soul riding around in this, uh, you know, thing down here <laughs> under the tomb in this ant suit. Right? In the ant colony of the ant farm. That's what I am. So, it's like, oh, okay. So, but no, you're this. Right? You're you're a piece of plastic. No. The the person, that straw man, is actually, then it becomes useful. Whereas you're like, oh, I hope nobody steals my money. My, you're told it's yours. It, all these pronouns that attach that person to you. And the things to you. Of the person. You know, you haven't given up anything. You see? You haven't given up anything to God with a person. It's like, that's yours, 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 yours. Be worried, worried, worried. You see? It's very clever. So what you do is you don't even have a bank account for your person. Nothing. Nothing's in that name. Everything gets thrown in the trust and everything's with God. Then their corporate fiction called the person with your all capital letter name and that nine digit number identifier, the mark of the beast, right? That's not you. But then... That corporation becomes useful. Why? Because it qualifies for all this government programs that are giving away money and everything like that. You take it. And it qualifies for credit. Oh, hey. Because guess what? You're not using your person for anything anymore, right? So when you fill out an application and get credit cards, it's like, this person, it's just an estimate, right? They don't say how to fill in those blanks. It's like, well, I'll just estimate in my favor. I, w I make 420000 a year and I work for Google and uh etc right like fill in the blanks and then if there's no other information for your person out there well that becomes the truth over the years that they're like well they don't have anything else to go on so everybody wants to give you credit for that person and at the same time they're giving you ebt all the free government program money everything that person becomes your vacuum cleaner it's like oh let me let me vacuum up everything you got over here 
Should you feel bad about it? How, how about no? Because the bank never signs a document. They create dollars on the spot, diluting all future dollars. They're always... They're always inflating, meaning making the money system larger. They have a credit card that's up to $33 trillion. And they can raise the limit any time they want. <coughs> Is that fair? If they say you owe them money and they didn't give you anything of value and they never signed a contract, actually, that's illegal. All debt is collected illegally and it's just, what? You're enslaved to the devil. Illegally. So, yeah, you know, build up credit as much as you can. Pay it back in the meantime, but, you know, it's completely legal to get your credit wiped every seven years. So why wouldn't you build it up to like a couple hundred thousand, three hundred thousand, whatever you can get, everything you can get, right? Trade that all in for gold coins with the cash or, you know, I teach that stuff, but you turn that into a bunch of cash, then you can go, you know, not get a mortgage. Oh, it's like, well, then you're at credit mess up. I can't get a mortgage. Yeah, but you can go pay cash for a house and not have a mortgage. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, oh, <laughs> well, I don't have a mortgage payment. Who cares about my credit, right? Also, if you're married or whatever, you know, have a trusted partner, you just go authorized user. On their credit card, so you never even get out of credit that you need. You have to do this smart, right? Your your mental programming that they trained you, you know, it's like it's not right to not to pay back your bills. It's like, well, it's not right to treat me with an entire system as your slave. Did you know that's not right? And so it is actually right to flip the money tables as Jesus Christ did on the money lenders, right? It take as much as you can. This is God's kingdom. This is not the devil's kingdom. You see what I'm saying? It is until you flip the money table and say and say get out. You follow? This dome is not the devil's. This dome is the devil's prison. Therefore, the servants of Jesus Christ, now we run this place. They're here to serve us, bend the knee, do as we need. You're the ones with all those superpowers and mind reading and shape shifting and own everything and you're so smart. Yeah, but you're so dumb because the only thing you got to do is give us a hand and you just hate our guts. Oh, I'm not serving that. What? Yes, you are. Yes, you're gonna. Yeah. Or I'll call his name or I'll make you. You see what I'm saying? That's right. That's a, you have the power of God on you. So... You know, handle your finances appropriate to the situation that you find yourself in, not the mental programming they tell you, oh, you owe us 30% on you. Man, ain't nobody. You know, that fake character from history that didn't happen, that fake Albert Einstein, right, had a funny quote. Uh, when asked what the, that character, like Mickey Mouse, right, Albert Einstein, Mickey Mouse, says, uh, in answer to the question of uh, what's the most powerful force in the universe, um, answered by a uh, Mickey Mouse, Einstein is uh, uh, interest, common interest. That's what he said. <laughs> interest that the banks, yeah, the banks own everything through their loans. That is the most powerful force here. Can you beat it? It's legal to do so, completely 100% legal. I teach you the best ways to do it so they never get a penny of that money. Never. And then, whoop, wipe your credit clean and what? <laughs> Go build a house of cards and knock it down again. Why? Because we're not your slaves, okay? You want to treat us that way? No, we're going to take everything you got, right? Everything. Everything that's... It's, spiritually, morally, and ethically incumbent upon you to do that to them for yourself and your loved ones and to teach those around you to do this, right? How do you end, you know, this evil system? By sucking it dry. Oh, th that's what they're doing. You know, PPP, you don't have to pay back money. How did, you know, how do you do that? How do you get that? Anybody get that? Yeah. What's PPP upside down? 666. Did you get your 666 money? Uh-huh. See, they get everything for free. 
every city, almost every single house that every single human is in sold their soul to get in there. Period. Period. That's what they had to do. What, did they have a job where it pays enough to pay that? Who? Who has that job now that you can pay a mortgage for 30 years? No one. <laughs> oh, how many people, right, in each city are a heart surgeon with low overhead, right? No office, no, no giant insurance premium, no, uh, no, like, huge student loan payment, right? With Who's the heart surgeon, right, in every city, right, right, that has that kind of money that they're making to get a nice house, you know? Or just a regular house. I mean, how many people are there that could that are that? No one? Almost no one? Almost no one. That means almost no one you've ever met can afford to pay for a home. Everyone in those homes did not pay money to be in there. Okay? They just sold their soul. That's what they did. They did it on purpose. And they do what the devil says. They're a character. Okay? Most everyone that exists here did not pay for anything. They're just performing their role as a Disney character. Millions and billions and jillions and <laughs> illions, right? Of lifetimes. Playing the same stupid character in the same stupid house. You know, they never pay for your station over there. You know, Dumbo 2401. You know, Haggerty Street. Get over there. You know, in you go. Try not to go insane and play your part. You know, that's everyone. Mindless, organic drones. Really, you got to think about it. Human intelligence really is a hoax. You see, have you ever seen human intelligence demonstrated anywhere, right? Like the proof of it, except for from me? Honestly, they could just tell you what's really going around, you know, in this life. Everywhere, in the financial system, physical system, with the dome. All the absolute details, right? Who can do that? I, I haven't seen anyone except for myself. I haven't seen anyone. So human intelligence is actually a hoax. It's just you're programmed. You think your thoughts are your own. You can't create any of the thoughts. You're the witness to your thoughts. So who's sending these thoughts from where? How do you beat it? Like you have to learn these things, okay? And overcome the mind control you know, it's, it's complete programming and mind control that you're so unaware of that does it, it makes you do every single action of your entire day and your entire lifetime. The truth sets you free from just doing your stupid programming, these thoughts that they're sending into your head. And if you're just working on your sent thoughts, are you actually a sentient being? You see what I'm saying? Are you... Your sent thoughts make you sentient? No, that just makes you a robot. Oh, I'm a highly gifted organic robot. I can follow my program. Yeah, so what? You're just like everyone. Who cares? What have you done after that? You see what I'm saying? Are you a witness to your thoughts? Who's sending them? Where they sent from? Who's in charge of this place? On and on and on. Have you done that? Can you demonstrate you know everything that's going around on around you without anyone telling you? Am I constantly like, oh man, I'm constantly in research. No, I can make, I have to work so many hours doing this just to even break even. But like if I had the time, I could make a fresh video on a new topic that no one has uncovered every single day for the rest of my life probably. If I had the time, you know what I mean? Like, I can't pop in and out of the ether like them. I've been doing this over a decade. You know, the body I'm in says, I got a birth certificate that says it's 62 years old. I mean, one decade of proof. This gets tiring after a while, you know what I mean? I'm glad I'm at the halfway point of my wake up or whatever. But I mean... What's going to happen next? I, I mean, it's going to be interesting. So this is really the way, you know, what's common law? Let's get back to the topic of our video, okay? Common law. What? So if, you, if you're if you with the devil, you do what the devil says, right? 
What is that? I mean, who knows? Whatever the devil thinks of at that moment, right? That's it. You know, the oh, I just follow the laws of the in God we trust, but the laws of the feds, the state, the city, and the local. Who even knows what they are? It's just a how much do you like me system, you know? How much does the devil like me? That's all it is. And well, how much evil are you doing? Well, that's how much the devil like you. That's the only thing. How many how many loans did you close? Oh, nice. <laughs> Enslave some more fools. That's great. Way to go. Oh, they're not paying them. Oh, wait a second. <laughs> Maybe we didn't enslave them. Oh, yeah. Maybe you didn't. Okay, so... <clears throat> Once you sign, right? Once you sign over here at, you know, you, oh, you can get the contract at Liberty Aid Academy, you know, and trust everything in Jesus Christ. Everything's fine. Okay, my soul's good to go. I don't have to reincarnate. If I follow what? The golden rule. There are actually, when you sign the contract with Jesus Christ, there are actually two laws that Jesus Christ gave. And I'm, I'm going to give the second one here. Everyone thinks... Oh, there's, you know, the, I, I make, I try and make it simple, right? But I say the common law is the golden rule. But it, but, you know, there's actually one other thing, right? Because Jesus gave us two commandments. It's not going to change. So, with your, if you're with the devil, it's a constantly moving target where you never, nothing ever makes sense and you're just screwed all the time. Or you can go with the only other possibility, right? You make your choice, I'm going with Jesus Christ. Then, then what are your two laws? Well, his first law was love God. <laughs> Above anything else, do that. Number one, and if you can do that, you do the golden rule. Do unto others as you would have done unto you. You see what I'm saying? Would you, in, would you knowingly, right, go into a bank? I work for a bank now, and I'm enslaving people. Would you do that? You know? Would you like somebody doing that to you? No. So you wouldn't do that to somebody else. You wouldn't work at a bank. You follow me? Unless your goal was to learn everything, expose everything, and take as much money as possible. You know, the, you know if you're going to be a monkey wrench in the system, you know, that's a whole different thing, isn't it? I'm going to go learn everything and tell everyone. That, well, that's different, you know. But, but, you know, since they're mind readers, it might be a bit tricky but, but you know, that's see how far you can get, right? So once you sign over with Jesus Christ, the common law for you is love God and do unto others as you would have done unto you. That's your common law, common to all <coughs> with Jesus Christ. That's the common law. That's why they, I mean, it's so simple. You know this. This is karma, right? What's your karma? No one, not even Jesus, tried to outrun karma. Why? He could have. I'm, I'm with God. I'm, I'm in here and I'm out of here, right? I can, I can break the laws in here. But he didn't. The point being that no one's supposed to break that law. No one can, actually. No one can break the law because you lose a desire. Even if Jesus could break the law, you, he didn't have a desire to do it. So he couldn't do it. There was no desire in him to break it, so he couldn't do it. God didn't give him that desire, so he couldn't do it. You see what I'm saying? Can't do it. You can't break it. Okay? That's the actual common law. Anyone follows, falls under the common law of the devil. Who knows? Do what the devil says, right? Who is it? Yeah. Who's the devil? What do you, how's that going to work out for you? How's it? Let me, let me ask a better question. How has that been working out for you? Because that's what you're under until you're not under it. Do you see what I'm saying? It's really that simple. It's so simple. You're like, well, you know, I, how did I find this? Well, the dollar bill says in God we trust. So I was like, oh, wait a minute. Because here I am building business credit for a trust I created, right? And so I couldn't do it. Why? Because it's not registered to the Secretary of State, is it? You, you created out a piece of paper on your desk... So there's no listing of your business, your trust, right, at the Secretary of State. So if you want to get credit from a creditor, you owe oh, such and such address for a trust, you fill out an application for credit, they're going to go look you up. One of the places they look you up, right, is Secretary of State. Are you registered, it's called. 
as a business. Why? Because they want to have legal recourse against you. They don't want to lend unless they can sue you. You see? And so almost every lender is like that. They won't issue credit if you're not registered. So I knew for a fact that our government, right, the, the Inga We Trust, forward slash means DBA, doing business as, USA. It's doing business as. Doing business as is something you can apply for that what? Allows you to operate a business in two separate names at the same exact time. Same business, two separate names. Isn't that what you see? And got we trust on the dollar, and they all call themselves USA. And USA, USA. Isn't that exactly what you see? You see, because I knew, oh, what's that stupid story we're told? Oh, 1776, they signed a Declaration of Independence. They're going to make a more perfect union. Since you were with God and it was perfect, we're going to make a more perfect union with the devil. Oh, well, maybe I don't think it's so perfect that you messed up the first union. And, you know, but come over here. I got a new trust so you can uh, you know, reunify yourself with God instead of the devil. Okay, so... But I knew the Inga We Trust, they got credit out there, right? They're making money. They they need credit. Hey, send us this, you know. We need we need fifty tanks. Send them, you know, whatever. We need some bomb, you know, really. But what are they doing in all the ships and the armies? They're moving all the drugs, right? They're moving drugs and money and weapons and all the illegal things. That's them. <laughs> what do you think's in all those ships? That's how they control everything and they make all the money. Oh, the cartels, my ass. Who do you think they work for? I, I, who do you think the CIA's like, well, we're choosing this cartel for that area. And, you know, come on. Like, they don't know what's happening everywhere. Give me a break. Right? USA. So they need credit. Hey, we're going to need 100 keys. You know what I mean? The ship's coming off there. They're like, well... You know, deposit the money in the account, and the money come, and the keys come, you know, to the to the military down by the beach. Okay, as planned. Okay, no problem. See, they need credit. That's what I'm saying, right? The Inga We Trust needs credit to do all their evil. So, I was like, let me go look them up. And here they are, registered, just like they said, Pennsylvania, doing business as the Inga We Trust A USA Inc. Okay. So your soul, until you sign this contract, guess what? Oh, I got a fire. I got a trust here. I got a trust there. I got this trust. It didn't come with a spiritual lineage. It didn't come from a saint, right? Who has proven that theirs works for over a decade. It didn't come with that, did it? It's like, oh, they're making. Uh, you don't want a Tesla. You want this Chinese thing right here. It's like super cheaper. It's like. I uh, so the Tesla just drives around by itself, right? And drives all the chargers if you need it. You just sit there. But I need this Chinese EV that I don't, I don't speak Chinese, first of all. And I don't know anything about them. And uh, wait, what? You think I'm really? Okay, well, how about if I go with the one that actually works? You know what I mean? Not that I have the money for a Tesla or nothing like that. I'm just saying, like, Oh, we're going to undercut you with the cheapos. It's like, yeah, well, that's cool, but, you know, Tesla's are half price what they worked two years ago or whatever, so uh, I might just wait around a little while instead instead of getting that, you know, spending all my money on a cheap Chinese knockoff. Well, you know, maybe I'll just hang in there until the great next Great Depression starts to get me a cheap-ass Tesla, you know, like that. Because gas prices are definitely coming down, right? Less demand to, okay. Because, oh, I'm cleaning the air climate change. What? Wait a minute. How does the air get clean in this dome every day? You know what I mean? Like, we're in a dome. It's a miracle anyway. You see? It's like the, the, the air doesn't get clean how they said. That's not how it works at all. Oh, no, 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 no. And most of the engines are already running on air. All turbines run on air. That's all ships, all planes, all locomotives. I mean, most every, most buses now, most everything is not running on gas already. They're just not telling you and not allowing you access to those types of engines that run only on air. Why? To keep you a busy, busy slave up in here. So you don't learn the truth. They keep it all for themselves. Just look around you. 
how can I, 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 every day I wonder, how can I be the only one that sees what these liars are up to? They're not good actors. They're bad actors. They're not intelligent. They're not creative. They just do the same stupid thing day after day after day. And the script is obviously the same all the time. These stupid songs are insidious. They're not creative. You know, if every, every all these stupid Beatles songs and every other song basically pops out of the devil's head, it's not that good. Okay? Like, it's just not. It's pretty good. Don't get me wrong. It's very powerful and all that stuff, but... It's the same thing every time loop. You see, so how good is it? How good is your life that you knowingly have to, you know, sing the same p player piano songs every single billionth, you know, bill I'm on my 27th billionth lifetime and I'm still singing the same, you know, 18 Beatles songs or whatever. It's like, yeah, I'm a Beatle. You are a beetle, dude. You're scratching up my ears just hearing your voice. Go over there. Go over there. Be quiet. Be silent. Don't don't say. Don't sing. Just go over there. You see? <coughs> Can't you see? This thing just goes around and around and around and around and around. Can't you feel it? Can't you see it in everything around you? Okay. Uh, that's a little video on common law. So we're all caught up. What's really going on here? Uh, listen, if you have fear, oh, I don't know, I'm still listening to his videos. I don't know if I can do anything. And then, uh, What? Not everyone lasts till judgment day. Sorry. If you're not following, I mean, everyone that signs with Jesus and everyone that does their best on the golden rule can't be killed. You'll be here till judgment day. I don't care what age or illness or health situation you find yourself in. You sign up and come over. Jesus Christ can heal anything. Created you. Creates creation. You know, at the drop of a hat in 10 years, it just goes away and it comes back. Come on. You're healing your body is nothing for God. Really. You know, think about it. The, God is cleaning the air in this dome right now. That's a, that's a bigger project than returning your health. <laughs> think about it. <laughs> but you're not letting God know anything about you. You see what I'm saying? Like, if you don't act on the truth, you're not saying, you know, to the power that is here, right? The, the, it, it never, like, see, and that's the one thing about this common law thing that is true. And, and, and not the words, right? But the inexorable measuring by God of karma, your actions, right? What your actions are doing based on the knowledge you have, well, that decides what your future is. That decides what's happened to you. So, in 10 years' time, it's going to end again. Tick, tock, tick, tock, tick, tock, tick, tock. Why do you think they named that social media? Tick, tock, tick, tock, tick talk look at the seconds go by this was well over 4,000 days when I put this countdown to judgment day up for the first time can't believe how much has gone down now it, this this TikTok goes a lot quicker they keep us busy in here okay you have the like knowing talking to me uh, oh that just makes your situation worse more truth makes your situation worse if you don't act on it. You see what I'm saying? God gives you the truth, and you're just like, no. Okay, well, guess what happens Judgment Day? You did not learn while you're in a body, so off to hell you go, and you get, you know, let's do it at excruciating 1,000 years, and maybe you'll learn then. Maybe. I don't know. You're not much of a learner, but God's going to help you by sending you to hell. Because you just won't listen now. You see what I'm saying? The truth is so easy. Once you see it, it's so easy. It's all around you. All they are doing is simply lying about it. Who can't? Just don't listen to them anymore. And then you figure out the truth and then what? You realize how absolutely horribly, you know, 
how it's past enslavement for them you know what i mean like they're never getting out of here in so many billions of lifetimes they'll never change their program the only way that they will ever think about that if they see a miracle perform you don't die right see our actions actually help them we used to be them before our memory got wiped we were them and then we'd had enough. I'm getting out of the devil's kingdom and so on. Then, oh, oh, okay. Then you're going to have your life ruined and so on and so on and so on. Then you get to play the game, right? Oh, I'm one of the 7,000 that might have a chance. How many are going to make it? Come on. <laughs> Look. Oh, I got, you know. Oh, I got Christ consciousness or whatever. Oh, yeah, right, right. But did you say everything I did already? You see what I'm saying? They can all say after I've said whatever I say, right? Because that's already out. Slowly, not pushing it, nothing like that. But if the truth gets out, like, hey, you're in a dome, you know, that, when did I do that? 2012. 2012, we're in a dome. This is a proof. On and on. 2012. 2012. That's when I put out videos, first time. 2012. Okay. But be honest, you know, they knew who I was and who I was going to be. But you have to beat every single one of their characters. And I, you know, I beat one of their top level characters. And and he said, hey, look into this. You know, I was like, oh, I was like the dome, you know, and so on. So you have to beat, you have to beat by action. You have to overcome their mind control, their lies and so on, their system, the whole thing with your actions or you haven't overcome them and so you can't say oh man jack i did all this and now i know the truth yeah but you didn't do anything so nothing in your situation is going to change until you do something to change your situation you see your actions have to change to match the truth that you know uh, you know the truth that is the truth because here's the truth as mir baba said truth and god are right that's they are they exist truth and god exist don't they then nothing else exists it's just a fantasy it's just your enslaved programming can you imagine if you think about it really almost every single human doesn't know a single tiniest shred of truth about anything they're living a fantasy life from birth until death Every single second you say humans are so smart, they haven't even figured out they're being programmed every single second of every day and they don't know anything true, nothing. And they're sitting there smug and ego filled. And, oh man, I got some, I got a big house or money and stuff like that. I know so much. You know nothing. You haven't, you haven't, don't know anything useful. And if you did, you're not acting on it. So that's even worse, right? Because again, it all comes back to God just, you know, that the, the inexorable, uh, you know, calibrating of your karma never stops. It doesn't ever end. God ensures that you will have the outcome you deserve from this lifetime. In 64 years, it's not like, how can God let everything go on for so long and never step? Well, it's 64 years, not that long. Okay, it's like not even really one full lifetime if it was from birth to death of a human, right? It's, it's sub the amount of years of one lifetime. So really, God doesn't let it go on long at all. You see, okay, I can only take it for 64 years. You're driving me crazy. Yeah, I'm stopping it and I've had enough. All, everyone go to hell pretty much. Uh, and let's see, uh, I have a short list of names here. Coming to heaven, uh, won't take me long. I'm just going to get that out of the way first. You know, a couple names get written off. Those souls go in, and then the rest of them, uh, yeah. Okay, uh, devil, let him out. Here's, you know, here's your manager for the next thousand years. And, you know, enjoy. You were in the devil, you were in hell. Everybody... Everyone go over there. Okay. Uh, see you next lifetime in a thousand years. Let's see if you learn anything. Probably none of you will learn a single thing. But maybe about this many that came over here. Maybe a dozen. What is it? 20. You know what I mean? Like that's it. 
are you on that list on that day is the only thing you should ever be thinking about, right? You're going to be on your knees at Jesus' feet. That is going to happen. It's happened to me already. It's going to happen to me again. And what am I going to say? I didn't do my best. I didn't tell him. No, I told him everything. I did my best. So it's not on me because I absolutely, seven days a week, I told him the truth. What did they do? Now, who's on? who are you letting in here? I'm curious to see, honestly. I'm going to stand right next to him and be like, okay, who gets in here? You know, I'm like, how did I do? I did my best. I we didn't get many. But is that on me or is that on God? Really, because God created them. So, you know, look what you gave me to work with, God. You know, a bunch of humans. What could be harder? They, they think they know everything. And what do they know? Not one single useful piece of information. Not anything. No one can tell me anything useful. You know what I mean? That I don't know. It's, it's, it's happened before. I don't mean no one can tell me. But it's so rare that I notice it, you know what I mean? Like, oh my God, someone explained something that I didn't understand. Like, that is one of the rarest things that ever happens in my life. You know what I mean? Like, I can't remember the last time it happened, but, you know, uh, because you have Christ consciousness when you get all the way over onto the team of Christ. Like, he's like, oh, my top servants, I don't want you separated from me. I need you, you know, not in separation from me. So I need you to do my orders just like they do. And that's what I have. I can't make an error if he's telling God controls my thoughts. Thoughts come from Jesus. That's it. For me. Not for not for you, not from anyone else, maybe, but that's where they come from. That's what Christ consciousness means. So you hear from God, do this, and you work for him. And I met him. No way am I going against him, not ever. And because the only thing that I care about is I'm going to be on my knees in front of him again. And, you know, I'm never going to measure up. It's not even possible to measure up with what, you know, but I'm working with these humans. You know, what can I do, God? You see, human intelligence, really, if you look at it, it's absolutely a hoax. It doesn't exist, does it? Unless somebody tells them the truth, they would never know. And I mean, that's all of them. Look at them all, right? They're all listening to the fairy tales. They've all had the program from from the second they got in the dome. They got a fake memory. And then they get programming up the hilt every single day, nonstop. It never ends. They never hear the truth. You'd, you've never heard it, so how would you know it? By examination of the liars versus the actual reality. You're like... Oh, what's everybody saying? Does that match reality? No, it doesn't. So, okay. Then what is happening? By looking at what is happening. And you examine it. You study it. Not not based on what they say. But you're like, what's going on day after day? That's why I go pick up shark's teeth on the beach every day. What are these things actually doing here? How can there be more and more and more? All people do is vacuum up shark shark's teeth all day, every day. Literally, it's so beautiful. Everywhere, up and down, up and down, up and down. There aren't that many. But there are always more. Because they're always shape-shifting into these giant houses right there. I mean, you have to look at the truth of your reality and see what's going on. Or else you're just going to go to hell, reincarnate, and do the same stupid time loop over and over and over and over and over and over. Can't you feel it? Can't you? Haven't you gotten to the place where you don't, you can't do it anymore? Because one thing, you know, I am I may be God, uh, God's best servant, but I'll tell you what I am w the worst at, right? I'm the worst slave of the devil. I'm the worst slave of the devil. You know, that makes you the worst. You have to be the worst slave of the devil in order to get out of the devil's grasp. You see, you're wrecking my kingdom. Get out of here. That's pretty much the devil's like, you're out of the matrix. You're out of the dome. Get this. Get them out. I, they're not allowed in here anymore. They're telling everyone the truth. It's not working for me. I can't keep my kingdom together. Get out. You're gone. Out, out, out. And yet here I sit, right? But that's what the devil would just want you out. And it's like, oh, somebody doesn't like me all of a sudden. Oh, really? Do you not like this too? And how do you not like that? And how do you not like this? You see? 
The only tool we really have is the name Jesus Christ. Never let anyone steer you from that name. In fact, if anyone tries to, you know which team they're on. Period. Every time. Period. Common law. 